Hey guys, Cube Hamster here, and welcome to a new sharing a scaring video. I am here with uh, Kaizen and with uh, Talon, uh, who have something amazing to show you guys. Um, I'm just going to quickly turn around and get to it. Um, it's kind of a, a sort of a collaborative uh, build where Talon came up with a, a, a super clever new uh, instant uh, block update detector silent block update detector uh, and kaizen kind of took that to the next level and turned it into uh, a, a super reliable two-way instant wire with lots of applications and i'm just going to show a couple uh, and he has a video on his channel that goes uh, into more in-depth like uh, applications that you could use it for uh, but just to quickly go to what it does uh, we have a very long line of uh, rails here uh, hooked up with a bunch of uh, observers uh, in a certain setup with rails, uh, which we're going to show you in a bit. And when I right click the node block, it's going to update everything and uh, light up the lamp uh, instantly. And if you look at the uh, uh, the pistons, uh, you can see they're all firing at the same time. And this is, uh, this is a very long distance for redstone to travel and uh, send a signal. Uh, and the cool thing about this is that uh, you can technically activate it like uh, anywhere uh, and it would still work. Uh, and as you can see, I'm even powering the pistons behind it. So it's two-way instant wire, um, uh, which is uh, super useful for uh, probably mostly for stuff like mini games or if you want to hook up something very, very far away. Um, but kind of moving on to the... Uh, then the next application, which is like mind boggling. Uh, and some of you guys might not believe this when you see it. Um, but this is uh, an, yeah, how would, you, how would you describe this talent? This is like an instant. Yeah, uh, I, I'd say it's an instant dropper line where wherever you're, or when you click this note block, all the droppers fire at the same time and make anything from over here pop out over here four game ticks later as as a magic trick <laughs> so this is also uh, created by uh, kaizen uh, and it's one of the applications so just for sort of proof we have a, a, a dropper here with a bunch of wool blocks i'm just going to randomly select one it's going to be the pink one i'm going to put it in the hopper and when we press the uh, uh, mm. note block it's going to come out here and i it's now it's empty. Let's do it again. Oh, and, and again it comes out. And I guess we can try another color just for safety. And Talon really wants to show something awesome as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's gray. So Talon, what did you want to show? Uh, I wanted to show that you can you can also dispense um shulkers and carts and things that can be dispensed as well and um another way to prove that it, it is like powering all of them at once and these comparators don't have time to read is um powering here this dropper is locked right now so um the comparator can read but if i were to power it off the cart just immediately gets dispensed mm -hmm. and I can uh, throw this shulker in as well and I could lock it over here see the comparator turns on mm -hmm. unlock the dropper and then the shulker box uh, gets dispensed as well cart <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is essentially the same instant wire as here, but uh, this time uh, with uh, observers facing downward into the uh, uh, droppers. And because of update order, uh, uh, you you essentially activate it or trigger it from the back, and then uh, because of how the signal travels, it it does it pushes the, the block forward uh, just in an instant. Um, so how does this work, Talon? Can you can you tell us a little bit? So the way the instant wire works is um, this rail configuration at the bottom here with these two flat rails. 
um, they think they're connected. So it, it creates a rail bud um, at this rail. So if I were to, and uh, depending on the update order that these top rails are triggered, uh, determines if the bud turns on or off. So if I were to click this one, the rail doesn't bud. And if I were to click this one, the update order is correct. So then this rail does bud. So it so, actually stays on now, even though it's not being powered. Yeah. And as soon as you update this, uh, one block up. Yeah, one block up. It it uh, forgets essentially. It realizes that it's not being powered. Yeah. So to kind of demonstrate how this bud is working in a, a different way, maybe a clear visual. Um, if I were to turn on one of these levers, the rails up here don't activate immediately. But if I were to update it with this note block, they all active or these two activate at the same time. And I could actually make a crossing wire with this as well as a different application. But what this update is doing is it's making these rails think that they are treating them as sloped rails. So over here, I can kind of demonstrate what the game thinks is happening whenever I click the note block. So once I trigger this rail or this lever, all these sloped rails activate it once and power each other because of the way that they update above. So these flat rails don't give that same update, and as a result, um, it requires a different external update to trigger. So over here, we can quickly show how to build it. Should I try? Um, yeah, yeah, go for it. <laughs> so um, we start at the bottom, right? And we place the rail facing here. And then we make sure that the, uh, this rail doesn't connect with the one at the bottom by placing a rail at the side here. Uh, and then we want to uh, make the rail go this way. And then uh, we run into an issue because rails, like if some of you guys realize, rails are like uh, sometimes really annoying with how they how they position themselves. Uh, so we have to redo this, if this happens to you as well, uh, where uh, we we do this again. Uh, but now we set this one up so that it doesn't update, and then we update it like that. And there you go. You have your, your real butt, your instant wire. Uh, and uh, if you have multiples of these, uh, you can hook them up. You can hook them up sideways, and you just have to make sure. And this one's the easy direction. Oh, this is the, yeah. Like some of the directions are easier oh, easier than others. And I still mess it up though. So no, you start from the bottom and the top and then put the center last. There you go. And then we can hook these up, right? What was the ideal distance, uh, Kaizen? Every 10 blocks, you should have a module, uh, but you can go as far as 17 blocks if you're willing. Oh, nice. And uh, yeah, instant wire. Um, yeah, Talon, if you come here as well. Uh, like I said, uh, so Talon is the real guy. Uh, if you want to know about like rail placements and all sorts of crazy stuff that you can do with rail and minecarts, Mr. Minecart, sorry, that's that's his like nickname. <laughs> uh, you should go check out his channel uh, and uh, learn all all sorts of in-depth stuff. Uh, and Kaizen, where'd you go? Uh, oh, there you go. Uh, Kaizen has a very extensive video on all, like all the applications for this instant wire and all sorts of other crazy contraptions. So go check out his channel as well. Uh, so yeah, this uh, is a new sharing is caring. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
And uh, if you have something cool to show, uh, then be sure to get in touch with me. And then uh, who knows, maybe I'll have you on the next episode. Yes, guys, thanks for joining. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.